Hi, welcome to the Terrace Room. I'm Chef Devin Boyce and I'm the executive chef here. Uh, you guys come to maybe check some things out today. We're gonna teach you how to make one of the fun things we've got for brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. It's kind of a twisted version of a chicken and waffle. It seems to be an Oakland kind of like retro classic coming out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, I'm gonna do a little something here. It's very, very simple prep. Uh, we'll have a little fun with you. Well, let's set some things on fire. We'll see if we can't make you really uncomfortable and we'll go from there, okay? So what we're gonna do to start this out, we need to saute some nice bacon. Again, bacon should be something, shouldn't be puny little pieces. It should be something that's fairly thick. It should look like you wanna eat it, okay? From there, we're gonna have some peppers and onions. We'll top those up and then we'll go from there. Start with a yellow onion. I just like the yellows instead of the whites. The whites seem to be a bit more stringent, a little heavier, not as much sugar content. These will caramelize nicely. The reds are really kind of, they're very sweet, they're very nice, but I like the yellows a little bit better for this. Um, we're gonna make enough for one. What you wanna do is just go ahead and julienne this. Doesn't have to be pretty. We're just gonna saute it up. Red peppers. I like the red because obviously they're pretty. I think they taste a little nicer and green in this dish as well. They're not as heavy. Again, it doesn't have to be very pretty. This is for you, the chef, the person at home, whomever. All right, bacon. This is something actually, uh, this is a, a can't do without here. We do dinners all the time called One Fermented Evening. Um, really any menu that I do, there has to be pork somewhere in it to keep everyone happy, or at least to keep me happy. Um, I have been dubbed the pork king before by my staff. Just a little bit of bacon. Okay, excellent. So what we've got now is we've got most of everything we need. Um, again, we're gonna saute our peppers, our onions. We've got our bacon. We'll go from there. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and start building this thing. We've got some peppers, the onions we cut up earlier. We've got bacon. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make a little gravy that we like to throw on there. I know, people don't have gravy on this. It's okay, don't worry, we are professionals. So what we're gonna do is we'll make a bourbon bacon brick gravy with those peppers and onions. Also, we like a little bit of greens in there because it makes it a little healthy. It's not healthy, but it also gives that bitterness that we like to kind of cut some of that fat and also cut some of the other sweetness that we have going on. On top of the waffle also, we're gonna put a little bourbon uh, maple and um, well, we've heavily sugared butter because it's like candy on crack. So this is perfect, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by braising our greens because it's gonna take a little bit more time. What we're gonna use today is we have some uh, macchinato kale. Again, nice bitter leaf. I've also got some broccoli to seat you. It's like little baby broccoli. Gives it a nice fun flavor. So I had a little oil in the pan. We're gonna go very, very light on the oil. We don't want it to get too greasy. Again, we're talking about fried chicken on top of this thing, as well as butter. And now we're gonna put this crazy, crazy gravy on top. All right, so we're gonna get this going. A little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I use fresh ground black pepper, but I don't have a lot of time back here to twist, so we just grind a bunch ahead of time. Also gives a nice floral flavor. So kind of dry saute those a little bit till you get a little bit of the char. And then what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of water. I won't like using wine for this or anything, just very neutral flavors. So we're gonna let that sit there for a minute. Now we'll make our bourbon bacon gravy. Start with a little bit of saute oil. I don't like using the butter for this because it'll actually burn. So we'll use some of those peppers and onions we had earlier. Start sauteing those. Get a nice caramelization on that. We're gonna cook this a little bit because the bacon's gonna go a little bit less time. We don't wanna burn the bacon. Burnt bacon's like, that's, that's, a, party, that's a party foul all the way around. Our greens are looking really nice now. Again, we want them nice and tender, not too tender. We want those stems of that broccoli diciccio to have a little al dente flavor, or texture, I mean. All right, so we're getting pretty close now. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bacon. Another th thing to think about as you're doing this is you don't wanna use too much oil when you're sauteing your peppers and onions because you're gonna add a bunch of fat with this. So, julienne, peppers, onions, bacon. 
Our kale and our broccoli de are looking really good right now. All right, now, what we're gonna do here, it's just necessary. What I've got here is I've got bourbon, basil Aden bourbon. It's one of my favorites to drink, so I might as well put it in my food as well. Pull it off your flame first, and then let it go. So we've got 80 proof bourbon rocking in here, which is why you've got all the flame. We're gonna go ahead and season this. A little bit of salt, not a lot, because the bacon has a lot of salt to it. Again, a little bit more fresh ground pepper. From there, I like nice chicken stock. We do this in house here. Uh, nice Petaluma chicken, take the bones, roast them, make a nice stock and reduce it down. So we'll hit it with a little bit of that. Also, I like to add a little maple, because we're gonna have that in the butter anyway. So just a little bit of maple to sweeten it up and a touch of cream. Okay, excellent. Our greens are all ready. Notice, they're nice and limp, but you still have, they're nice and uh, firm still too. Our bourbon bacon gravy will reduce for just a second. And we can start plating this thing. Um, so we've got our plate. We've got our nice waffle here. Again, I've got this nice, big, fat Belgian waffle. We're gonna take that. I've got a little bit of that butter I was talking about right here. We'll take that. Again, don't go too crazy, but you know, a nice liberal helping of that butter. Okay. Now for fun, we'll stack it up a little bit here. Our gravy's just about there. You can kind of see the consistency is getting a little thick. That's just exactly what you want from it. We should probably make sure it tastes good though. I really, really hate to say you have to taste all the bourbon and bacon that are going on. Oh no, we're there. Okay, on top of that, we'll add our greens. This is that whole, through the magic of TV thing, we've got chicken. Lovely, uh, just a small piece as you can tell, just for reference, that's my head that's next to it. We'll put that on top. Then we've got this lovely bur bourbon gravy. We'll go ahead and again, don't go too light on this kind of stuff. Oh, so far it looks pretty good, I think. We're gonna go ahead and garnish with a few raspberries because number one, they're pretty, but I also like bacon and raspberries together. So just call it a palate cleanser in between bites. From there, you can't have a waffle without powdered sugar. So that's a nice touch. And then just a little something on top to kind of finish it off. That's it. That is our chicken and waffle here at the Terrace Room overlooking beautiful Lake Merritt. Thank you very much. Make sure to come by Cookstream. We'll teach you how to make this beast. We have live classes all the time.